So we're getting off the ship today in Suda or Sauda on Crete. It's the port for Crete. Um, it's got a small town around it, but it's fairly industrial. But I guess all cruise ships stop here, and then you have to somehow make your way over to Chennaiya or Chania, which is about three or four miles over that way. So, if it's cheap enough, we're gonna get a bus or a car over there. And if it's not, we're gonna see what Suda has to offer. <laughs> but we'll see. I have no idea, I haven't heard. So we'll see. We got it on the shuttle bus. There's a little ticket booth right there. I don't know if you can see the ship there. There's a little ticket booth outside. Um, round trip was three dollars and forty cents. So we bought round trip tickets. A dollar seventy each way. So there's no discount for round trip, but you know. Now we're going to get back in a few minutes, hours. So we're off, driving through Suda, leaving the port. There's the ship. I don't know if you can see it. So coming out of the port now. Hey, super dealer. And everything else. So we've been driving through a lot of this. Houses, businesses, a lot of car dealerships. Every kind of car. I think we're probably about halfway now. We're near the middle of town. Probably our stop. A lot of places are closed today. It's Sunday. They don't really care about a cruise ship. And yes, it is. Our stop. It's called the Market Square. Right there. Over there, apparently. So, gonna go down there. Anyway, gotta get away from this smoke, though. Let's go this way. So, this is Chennai Town, or Chania, or Chena. I don't really know how they pronounce it. But it looks like a seaside town, right? Except old and old and old. So let's cross. I think we'll head down in there. That looks safe. And we decided to walk down this, which looks like a pedestrian area. And a lot of shops look closed because it's Sunday and I guess they don't really care about cruise ships or money, right? I would think you'd want to be open today, even though it's Sunday. But anyway, so if your ship's coming here on Monday or Sunday, maybe you don't want to bother, right? Little cafes open, t-shirt shops open. I don't know what that is. A lot of people are headed up there though. Looks like a big garage. <laughs> Came from up there. We're down here and now we're at a crossroads of this mostly pedestrian mall. Shops in every direction. Snacks. This is a little more bustling down here. Oh, that goes on for a long way. So does this way. I like this way better. It looks more crowded. And of course they have a shoe store with a donkey. And what, what shop in Greece would be complete without a bunch of these? This is four euros, five. And this little guy on a cart came by. walking down this pedestrian mall. I want you to see the picture on this though, because I'm not sure of the significance of it, other than it's from an old Hollywood movie, it looks like. So, I got a lot of leather stuff here, a lot of silver, a lot of jewelry in general. 
blankets, magnets. I didn't realize magnets were such a thing, but I guess they are. This guy's got all sorts of little statues and pot holders. And so pretty much the same as everywhere else, but a little bit different, slightly different. And there are a lot of leather goods here. Uh, Michael Kors purses for like 10 or 20 bucks, so I'm sure they're authentic, genuine. Or you could tell people they were anyway. And this just goes on and on. It's just tour stuff. So I don't know what they do if a cruise ship's not in port. All winter they must close up. So we made a right turn off of one of these alleyways. And it looks like there's just one after another. Wait, there's some sort of ruin over here. Let's walk up here and have a look and see what this is. We still don't know exactly where we're at because we don't have a map. A good map. Hey, CDs and records, wait a minute. Thirty-three euros. <laughs> so when we left the shopping area, there's this large round mound that seems to be supported, but there's no marking we could find on it. And then there's this walkway, and it looks like maybe it's some old fort up here. So, like I say, I didn't do a lot of research about this town, so I really don't know what there is here. But whatever that is, they've tried to preserve it. The shopping area is back down around there. You could walk all the way around this thing. I see steps leading up it over there, but I don't know how to get to them. But this looks like it goes all the way out to the waterfront here. Walk from over there. Come walking up here. Some of these houses up here. Going up these steps. Not really sure how much further we can go this way. Although it does look like a path going down there. And a path going up to this place. Got some lantana here though. Don't want to touch that. There's a cool breeze blowing in off the ocean. Um, and a cat. It looks like people live here. Or lived here. Oh, well, we're just getting down into another part of town. And it's back. I wonder if that's fake. Everybody's looking at something over here. Walking out there just brought us to a, another shopping area, but I do see the ocean down there, so we're gonna walk down that way. See what happens. We came down from the top of that street, and there's places that sell uh, vegetables, fruit, sodas, water. Jewelry, pots, you know, just like the other places. Uzo in the little painted bottles. Maybe I didn't show you that before. And I see what looks like a beach, maybe, up ahead. Coming out now, I think we were up on that place. And it is a fort. But we turned off. Before we got to it. I don't see anybody up there, so maybe you're not allowed up there, I don't know. And then there's this building, and then the ocean. It's not really much of a beach day though. 
actually a little cool. It's very cloudy. Looks like some more ruins over on this side. We came down from up there. There's like a fort on that side and more fort on this side and like an opening in it that is full of shops and hotels now. But the ocean is definitely down here. Well, that looks a lot more like it, doesn't it? A long wall out yeah. in the ocean. Okay, so I think we figured out our map didn't show where we were. But now it shows where we are. I would say it's not much of a beach though, but maybe there's beaches in other places. But at least there's a guy playing music. We walked around the point from there, and it is a big fort in there, and the Ministry of Culture was in there, we saw. And now it's a big harbor front. So this is the Venice of Crete, or whatever they call it. So there's these guys over here. And I don't know what she's doing. Touching the uh, lighthouse or something, maybe? Hey, it's raining. So we're gonna walk along there, I guess. I don't know what the dome building is. And those are boats in a harbor over there. So we came around this point, across from the lighthouse there, and it started raining. It was raining pretty hard, now it's just a light sprinkle, see? And there's all these uh, stores along here. Of course, we had our windbreakers, raincoats, from Costco. What a deal. I think they were $20. They're very lightweight. There's a plug for Costco. But it's just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant after restaurant and it goes on and on all the way around. But it is very pretty here. Down there, there's the lighthouse of course. We walked around the waterfront. It rained on us. Now it's not raining. We came around and now we're where that dome building was and there's just like an art show going on inside so i don't know what it was what it is there is a horse though oh there's a whole line of them so if you want to take a carriage ride i guess i should ask her how much and there's this part of town of course, we walked from over there all the way around, past the dome building with the art show in it, more restaurants. Now we're coming up to a harbor. So we're probably gonna turn right here somewhere and go up into town. Look at some more stuff for sale. To get out there, where the lighthouse is, apparently you gotta go all the way around there somewhere. There is a structure out there. See that? So we're going to go around here to the right, following the waterfront the lighthouse. I don't know if you can see it. We came around this building from the port. That's the wall that you can walk out on to get to the lighthouse if you wanted to get to the lighthouse. Every so often there's one of these guys playing music, but now he stopped and he's just talking. And then we came to these old buildings, I'm not really sure what they are. But they look pretty old. Looks like we could go up that way into town, or 
Maybe down here, it looks like more restaurants and shops and more really old buildings over there. Way over there. But this guy who's on a boat with a giant shark mouth. Sponges, five for 20. Wouldn't that only be four euros each? Well, that looks like the best deal on sponges ever. Maybe because he's in the water. Bracelets. Pictures. I guess that's a giant sponge kid caught. Little shark mouths. Blowfish. Blow that blowfish blow. So that's the first floating store we've seen. Old diving helmet and lots of old pictures. So this guy has some big sponges. Big sponges. He's also floating though. And he's got flowers. Oh, it smells like flowers even. Notice the uh, plants are growing out of the side of the dock. And of course more restaurants. More restaurants, more restaurants. From way over there past the lighthouse, all the way along the waterfront. We're gonna go up on the wall here. That's a restaurant. That's a big restaurant. I wonder if you could just wander in. You know? We're gonna see what's up on this wall. Of course, there's boats out in the harbor. A lot of people up here, though. Um, looks like the ocean. Oh, look, there's the beach. Rocky as it is, and a wall going down. So, eh. and then this is the way out to the lighthouse. If it was in your head to go out to the lighthouse, this building right by the wall here, and it's a busy, busy place. And it looks like it's restored ancient building. And I think there's a restroom in the back here that everyone's using. It also looks like maybe a boat rental. Interesting though, right? And a little uh, store here. Closet back there. It's just one door. Boys and girls, when you go in, girls are on the left and boys are on the right. Both doors were shut tight though, but apparently Janet figured it out. So, cause she's still in there, but she may be up in the sink. Look at this boat. Or ship. It's even got one of these. Now, would you go out on that for 15 euros? Hey, a carriage which just went by. It's the Irene. Janet wants you to know. Of course, we walk way up there, way down around the bend. Here's the bathroom. We're coming back. We're going to go up into town over here. We're back to the carriages. We got a tour sticker. Looks like a lot of waiting around. like fun. I wanted to see the lady so she could tell me how much. Oh, there she is. Hmm. 20 euros? About 20 euros, it says, to ride one. 
for a 15 minute ride around, maybe just up and back, I don't know. And we're gonna go up through town, do some shopping, get back on the bus, go back to the ship. There's no shortage of places to eat here if that's why you came. There's one of these guys. Selling the splat stuff. Found the guy with the rolling cart in the picture. And the picture doesn't change, it just plays some music. So, it's an homage to some movie, I think. Maybe you know. I'm going to try to figure it out. So we're heading up this street from the waterfront, which is right there. We came up from the waterfront, right down there. We've been shopping along this street. Came to this. the church there and now we're gonna walk over to this maybe church maybe Catholic I don't know and there it is it's pretty good size and the clock tower has the right time Waterfront there, and all the shops and restaurants. And we've come to this park. I'm not sure what's the name of the park. We're trying to get back to where the buses are so we can get our bearings again because this map is really not very useful. I think we're right here though, and we need to get up here. So we're walking off this way. And it really stinks right in here. And there's a Domino's Pizza. Now, I'm not saying those two go together, but there it is. And a lot of taxis. A lot of taxis. I found this map. We originally got left off right in here, either there or there, like that bus. And we went down off this way and went down around and came around the old harbor and to there. And then we came back up this way and that was the church. And then we came up. And now we're here and we're gonna go back to where the buses are and shop around in here a little bit. And then pick up the bus back to the ship. Back to the exact same street we started on. And Janet recognized it and I didn't. I thought, no, it wasn't here. And she knew what was around the next corner. So she is exactly right. <laughs> and they have uh, you know, all sorts of things here. But if you're looking for one of these, they have the lowest price. In all of Shania. Shania? Anya. Anya. The X is a C H sound. Wait a minute. Hanya? Hanya. Well, that's how you say it. Okay. I learned. Is the, is the port Suda? Oh, okay. I got that one right. And it looks like a bunch of shops. in one building. So if you want some uh, of this kind of stuff, some ouzo. Cheese. Olives. 560 a kilogram. Well, those are the cheapest olives. <laughs> They're just not packaged. Hi. Hi. These look like they're five dollars. Found the olives, loose. We bought ourselves a little bag of them, like that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I didn't know that you didn't have a Grazie. Thank you. 
Look at that fish cake. And look at those guys. We just came out of that building. We bought a fan and some ouzo, some olives. And now we're uh, getting back on the bus. What we're trying to do it without getting killed. Nope, let's wait. But anyway, the bus, those are the buses, city buses take us back to the ship. We, of course, already paid for it. So we're on the bus heading back to Shanya. I mean, Suda from Shanya. Heading back to Suda where the ship is. And we got these backwards facing seats. And of course, Janet drank so much there in town. But she's not feeling well. It's not that drinking It's not that she was stupidly drinking, she says. Anyway, port, port monkey's out. We rode the bus back to the port. We're gonna jump out here. Ah, that was the ticket right office. And now we gotta go back through here and there's some sort of hold up. Well, they wanna see our cards. I believe this is them. Just came out of the terminal. <laughs> there's the ship. We're gonna get back on. Go to the room, dump our stuff, have some lunch, and relax. And that was our day on Crete. Um, it's a nice place. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's low impact. Especially riding the city bus for three years. Port Monkey's out.